Uh, as you know, Minister, autism, uh, according to the American Psychiatric Association, is a neurodevelopmental disorder characterised by impaired, impaired social interaction, impaired verbal and nonverbal communication, and restricted and repetitive behaviour. And the rapid prompt method, which is the uh, subject of, of my matter today, is a teaching method that teaches a child to respond to his or her teacher, not through speaking, but through making 50-50 choices on paper. Gradually, a child with autism is taught how to point to letters on a letter board, and he or she can spell out answers. This then leads to the child expressing his or her own thoughts through spelling sentences on the letter board, and eventually the child is taught to spell on a keyboard or an iPad that speaks what he or she has written. This gives a child a new way to communicate with others. It's very successful with people with autism who have no uh, speech or limited speech. And with the incidence of autism in Ireland high, according to a 2003 study, approximately one child in every 100, 100 is somewhere on the autism spectrum. Uh, this is a, a very important matter. This RPM method, rapid prompt method, uh, has been used in the US for over 10 years with extraordinary results. Thousands of people have been helped to realise their potential to communicate through means other than speech. The context is that Applied Behaviour Analysis, or ABA, is the predominant treatment currently used in Ireland for children with autism. This focuses on the principles that explain how learning takes place using positive reinforcement, i.e. that when behaviour is followed by some sort of reward that the behaviour is more likely to be repeated. The field of behaviour analysis has developed many techniques for increasing useful behaviours and reducing those that may cause harm or interfere with learning. However, Minister, there are approximately 25 families in Ireland who have discovered the rapid prompt method this system and I've spoken in detail to one family about their experiences and we offer, often overuse words like amazing, transformative and extraordinary but these words do help describe the experiences of the families that have used this method to help their children. I know the Olavine family from Swinford in County Mayo. Nula Olavine is a teacher and she's mother of Joseph, a 16-year-old boy with severe autism. Nula and her husband Porik have been using RPM with their son in their home since May of 2013. Nula tells me that life for Joseph and their family has been transformed since they started. She said they have been blown away by the results, and those are her words, in particular how their son is really communicating with them for the first time about his illness and his personality. She says her son has been liberated from the prison of his illness by the rapid prompt method. He can now express his thoughts, hopes and desires for the future. She has eloquently and emotionally told me that RPM has allowed them to really meet their son for the first time in 15 years. The barrier that was erected by his illness has come crashing down. She says the amazing thing about the rapid prompt method is that we've discovered that Joseph appears to be of normal intelligence on the inside but could never express it before or show us that he could understand us. We were always told that he had a mental age of two years. Now we realise that he can understand everything we say. We've also discovered through RPM that he can spell even though he was never taught to. And there are more experiences, Minister. Caroline Galvin's 10-year-old son, Adam, has autism. He was in the special class in his primary school until his family used the new, this RPM system. The results were extraordinary. He has gone from the special class to mainstream fourth class with his peers. Even more remarkably, the teacher told Adam's mother that the other children in the class were copying his work during a spelling test. And Caroline Galvin is working with Nulo Lovine to introduce the RPM system into Ireland. They've organised workshops in Swinford, fair play to them, for parents from around the country. The parents who start RPM with their children have discovered the extraordinary results. Now, another amazing benefit, Minister, is that it has allowed children with autism to access age-appropriate academic subjects. It allows a child to develop the skill of spelling on the letter board and thereby interact with the teacher and other students during lessons generally. Another child, Fiacre Ryan from Clare Morris, has gone from an autism unit to mainstream secondary school during doing first year academic subjects with his peers now. And due to their inability to communicate in the past, children such as those I've mentioned were written off as unable to learn with their peers. Rapid prompt method, this system has transformed their lives for the better. Minister, the word is beginning to spread about this method and a lot of professionals, teachers, speech therapists, special education lecturers and so on, I'm coming very shortly and I'd be grateful for just brief indulgence, um, these are now attending workshops organised by the volunteers in Swinford. And I would hope, Minister, that, you, that it's, probably, it's not your brief, but that the Minister for Education would meet the group of parents in Mayo to show an interest and support with a view to raising the issue of RPM and its future use in schools. Um, it's, uh, it's such a powerful method that I expect that it will be requested by other parents of children with autism in the near future. 
Already, the volunteers in Mayo are being inundated with inquiries from parents who want their children to attend the next workshop in March 2015. These parents are active and they are going to keep going with the support of teachers and other professionals. Last Wednesday, the group of parents met a lady from an independent film company who is making a three-part programme about autism and she will be including RPM and the children from Mayo in this programme. And that's great news. I'm disappointed that the Minister for Education is not here today, but I hope, Minister, that you will take this message to her and I hope that we will get an early response that the government is not going to lag back but be out front in not just encouraging um, these families, these brave families and innovative families with thank words you. but you, also Senator. with support from the state. I hope finally and thank you last period that as we hear more about the transformative power of RPM that the department will take an active interest in working with parents who are spending so much of their time and money introducing this system call, to Ireland, yeah. not just for their own benefit but indeed for the benefit of the whole thank community. Thank you Senator, I I would like to uh, thank the Senator for raising this matter, uh, which I am taking on behalf of my colleague, uh, Jan O'Sullivan, Minister for Education and Skills. I wish to advise the Senator that the Department of Education and Skills Policy is to promote a child-centred approach to education uh, of all children with special education needs, including those with autism. Autism is a spectrum disorder, and each child with autism will have very individual needs. Accordingly, they should have access to a range of different approaches to meet their individual needs. The preferred approach is to provide for the education of children with autism through the primary and post-primary school network, which facilitates access to individualised education programmes. Fully qualified professional teachers who may draw from a range of autism specific interventions, including applied behaviour analysis, ABA, Treatment and education of autistic communica communication handicapped children and picture exchange communications system. Uh, in school settings, children with autism may have access to individualised education plans or IEPs, fully qualified professional teachers, special needs assistance, the appropriate school curriculum with the option, where possible and appropriate, of full or partial integration and interaction with other pupils. The child-centred policy is based on advice received from National Education and Psych Psychological Services, the Department's Inspectorate and the report of the Irish Task Force on Autism and takes full account of advice from a range of experts on autism. The Department recognises that specialised training and continued professional development, or CPD, is important for staff working with children with special education needs. The Department supports the provision of CPD through the Special Education Support Service, which was specifically established for this purpose. The Special Education Support Service coordinates and delivers a range of professional development initiatives and support structures for school personnel working with students with special educational needs, including autism. The Department remains willing to review and consider any further research as and when it becomes available and the Department is conscious of the need to adapt existing policies to develop new policies as new research or learning becomes available. In this regard, I wish to advise this House that the National Council for Special Education are currently preparing policy advice on the education of children with autism. The Minister specifically asked the NCSE for this advice and to review with particular uh, reference to educational and social outcomes the effectiveness of the range of evidence-based practices and interventions for the education of children with autism. The Minister also asked the NCSE to identify the nature and extent of educational interventions, teaching practices and other supports which should be provided to enable children with autism to achieve educational outcomes appropriate to their needs and abilities. I expect that the NCSE will consider all evidence-based interventions and that this will include the intervention to which the Senator has referred. In this context, the Minister does not want to prejudge the outcome of the work of the NCSE. The NCSE policy advice will be delivered in the spring of 2015 and will draw upon findings gathered from an extensive consultation process with parents, schools, professional service providers and other stakeholders which is nearing completion. The advice will also draw upon new research commissioned by the NCSE for this purpose as well as any other research which may be available and which the NCSE feels that it merits consideration. The Minister for Education and Skills expects that the NCSE final report will reflect the broadest possible range of views and provide recommendations which will assist the development of policy and of educational interventions for children 
with autism for future years. Uh, at I would like to conclude by thanking this House on behalf of Minister O'Sullivan for the opportunity to discuss this very important matter and to inform this House of the important work currently being undertaken by the NCSE. And, uh, I have every confidence that the policy advice uh, will provide a strong basis for the future of education provision for children with autism in Ireland. Gur Michael. Uh, uh, thank you very much indeed, uh, Minister. One final quick yes. question. Well, I just want to say, uh, Minister, thank you for being here, but I'm, I'm very disappointed at this response that you have been given. It's full of civil service speak. It passes the ball completely to the NCSE and presumes that they will uh, look at the issue. I don't know from the speech you've given whether the Department or the NCSE has any iota of knowledge about the existence of rapid prompt method, and I would have thought that at the very least the Department would undertake to examine the issue and ask the NCSE to give some kind of a response on whether they consider investment and promotion of rapid, rapid prompt method to be uh, uh, promoted. This answer could have been given in relation to an, a myriad of different issues. As I said, it's completely civil servants speak and I'm disappointed by it because it tells me nothing about whether the Department knows anything about this or cares about this. Could I ask you, Minister, uh, personally, will you, since Minister O'Sullivan isn't here, will you raise with her, uh, on my request, please, and indeed on behalf of the families who care so much about rapid prompt method and who are very encouraged by it, would you mention this to the Minister and draw it to her attention and ask her to bring this forward in her Department, that they would examine it, find out about it, look at it, and give us some kind of answer about what they think about it at this stage of knowledge, at this point in time. Thank, 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 thank you, Senator. Uh, Minister, okay. word. Yeah, just to say that uh, I will ensure that your contribution outlining the benefits of uh, PRM is brought to Minister's attention, and I will raise it with her. Thank you very much. Okay.